it only seems like a couple of weeks since we were last here, doesn't it? Yeah. But we're back at the zoo because new things have opened. Well, the predators experience, which was on our last video we mentioned was uh, about to open, is now open. And I've got a Thursday off, so we decided to come back and check it out. We're also going to check out something else which we've heard about. And we're also going to go and eat in the oak field today. Uh, I also bought a new camera, so I'd like to use that today, but it's raining, so I'm not going to get it wet. <laughs> we'll see how we get on with that. So, let's go and see what's new. At the zoo. At the zoo. And hopefully today we'll be able to see that fossa. You never know. And here is where you would pay for tickets. Because it's half term, it's very busy. So there's a big queue, but you can prepare online. So if you do that, you don't have to. And I have said this before, but if you do that, you don't have to queue there. You can go straight through and go through the main gates. Straight into the zoo, cut to queue it. There's a big shark. Last time we came, that was uh, being constructed, and now we have a big shark. Photo opportunity. So of course, as is the standard when visiting a zoo full of rare and endangered species, we're going to go and visit the animatronic ones first with the Predators exhibition and see what we think of that. Can't be as good as the Lego one, can it? No. All the dinosaurs ones. <laughs> Although we did see some of them on the, on the uh, Facebook and they do look very good. The dinosaurs ones, like a few years ago. That was really good. Cool. Yeah. Heard that a few times. Yeah. Dinosaurs bite back. Remember that. So yeah, if you are going to visit in the next few weeks, Head to Dragons in Danger and the Predators exhibition is to the left of it. There we go, right next to the conveniently placed ice station that I won't be getting any more slush from after all the ice cream headaches I had last time. The first one is the Utah Raptor. Gemma just pointed out that the eye is actually moving these, which is quite cool. And the feathers on its head. Oh yeah. It's gonna eat you. And we have a dire wolf. Looks like he's about to sneeze. There's a Komodo dragon outdoor enclosure here. Something you see very often in here though. And here is a giant sea scorpion that sprays water. <laughs> Gems found a sneaky bit if you stand here. You can get a good view without getting wet. Terror bird. That sounds like a really bad action movie. <laughs> it's like a bad Terror bird movie. versus really giant sea scorpion. That sounds like a bad Oh no! It's a horse. It's a big grip. <laughs> I suppose they are called predators for a reason. <laughs> nice bit of interactive stuff here with the education team. You can look at some predator skulls. And when you do these uh, exhibitions, it gets you a nice view of the flamingos. Gemma? Hello, Saurus. Name means a different lizard. Grumbling. I really like these graphics. They're very cool. Smilodon by name. Smilodon by nature. What a happy child. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Some more of these cool graphics. Tyrannosaurus, the giant bird. I think I can hear the giant bird. Wow, he is a big bird. <laughs> it's through the trees over there. We'll see him closer when we get around there. And of course, the Dilophosaurus bits. Oh, we'll quickly sneak through. I like his big nose. This is the Circus Suchus. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh, that is a giant bird. Almost as big as the Quetzalcoatlus. Some of these are challenging to pronounce. And look, she's got chicks. Don't be rude, Gemma. No, this one doesn't spit. That's the big one. Ooh. 
Funny thing is I've just realised they have pronunciation for all animals here and I've been attempting it myself. And that's this guy here. I like this guy. He looks fun. Apparently he used to take pig and elephants, giant kangaroos and deer. And we're finishing up with the Titan boa, which is imaginatively named. And of course the Tyrannosaurus. Well, that's not small. Here's Gemma for scale. <laughs> Exit through the gift shop. I want this. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but I want it. Oh, that's cute. So I have a feeling this might become a regular thing. We're going to go and check out the fossa to see if we can see it better than we did last time. And we'll probably do this for the next 26 visits until we actually see it back. <laughs> Similar situation to the last time we were here, so far. We'll go and check out the indoor bit though, because we might see something there. Yeah, it's an absolutely lovely enclosure. Oh, look at this. We have a sleepy fossa. Beautiful animal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How can you not love that animal? So I did get a chance then to use my new camera to take some photos of the fossa and I'm also using it now to record a little bit of footage of these black lemurs. They got the female out today, we didn't see her last time. So let me know what you think about the footage. It might be a bit chattery because this lens isn't really for video, but that's fine. Oh, the rain is coming down today. And I haven't got a raincoat. So we've moved our booking to Oakfield forward because we're all hungry. Definitely book if you're interested in going there. Hopefully that'll get us out of the rain for an hour. I have pointed this out before, but we've had a lot of new subscribers in recent times, so I'll just show you. This used to be part of the lion enclosure, the sign up here. So basically these marks on the walls are from lions shouting in the claws on the actual brickwork. It's really cool. Right, we are here. And if you want to see where that is, this is the lion house here. This is the lion enclosure. And the scratchy claw wall is just there on the right. And and Iblis himself is lying over there, just up there. He's a bit far away from us to actually get some decent footage. I think I can see one of the girls through the trees there as well. Oh yeah, under the tree. We're by the oak field. The rain has stopped, which is nice. We just thought we'd have a little look at the little garden. The memorial garden for Mr. Mutter's head here. This was the original founder of Chester Zoo. It's very nice here. This little bit of calm. And we have the oak field behind. This is where we're going to eat lunch today. We have eaten here a couple of times now. It's always been very nice. It only opened, it reopened last year. It has been a restaurant for quite some time in the past and we used to do special deals, didn't we? Yeah. You used to get a zoo entry and a Valentine's Day meal. That's how we actually first started coming to the zoo. And we decided to become members on the back of that visit. And now we must have been to the zoo like 200, 300 times. Great gardens today, looking very pretty. Lots of wedding trees, isn't it? Yep. Malayan cedar. It's coming out the top of the picture frame. Love the bird knot song here, it's really nice. What have we got here? English Oak Chester Zoo Celebrity. Celebrity. I like these, these are cute. Of course, this is what I used to listen to the tally after many years of going to gigs. Massive ear trumpet. I think Gemma's found a red panda. Yeah, that's not easy to spot, Gem. <laughs> We look up here and in the tree. 
you might just see if I'm pointing at the right part of the tree a little red panda just curled up in the branches there sleeping the day away and these are some memorial gardens which are some stones here in memory of Elizabeth who is George's wife and then Muriel and June and June's husband Fred we actually came to some talks once when June was yeah. at them, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And June was in the TV program. What was the TV? Oh, the, the, she, she was portrayed in the TV program. Zoo, something like something, that. Uh, something like that. That he won about the phone in a Chester Zoo. It was like a docudrama. <laughs> we found a red-billed blue magpie who's very cheeky. There we go. Better luck. Looks for pooping on camera though. I never did ask, by the way. What did you think of the predator thing? It was good. It wasn't as good as dinosaurs. Mm, you preferred dinosaurs. I, I really I, enjoyed it. I thought it was I really it was good. good. There, was, there didn't seem to be as much theming about them, like when the dinosaurs one was there. But I don't know, that just seemed... There was a I don't remember that theme. <laughs> there was a couple of like, dodgy ones. <laughs> okay. Like, come on, the big tall bird that farted, and then when you are on the side, the bummo was just there for you to look at. <laughs> and then there was the, the snake at the end, it just... Was yeah, the snake like, was a bit. The snake well, was, was a bit rocky, but. Eyes, didn't move but I liked it. I thought it was really good. I but... liked the saber tooth tiger. Mm -hmm. The big bear was really, really good. I think mm -hmm. that was my favourite. Um, it was good. It was good to bring. It doesn't cost anything extra. Yeah, that's anyway. a good point. It actually, it doesn't extra. cost you any extra on your yeah, normal yeah. entrance fee, so that's cool. Yeah, it's worth a visit. Yeah, so it's good. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Lions aren't showing. We are just standing around waiting because well, our lunch is starting so, soon. So. She's asleep. One doesn't have there. One doesn't have back, and it brushes asleep in the middle. Yeah. Hiding in the spots that it's not either uh, neither good to video from or photograph from. It's lunch time, so we're going to get some lunch. Yeah, we're starving. We took the cat to the vet this morning just to check up, and now. Uh, yeah, Jen and he's nice and healthy, and he's an old guy, so that's cool. It's quick. Yeah, that was quick, wasn't it? Yeah. I um, ordered a burger, and you ordered toad in the hole, and a pint apiece. Afternoon pint in the pubs always a favourite thing to do. We sat in the garden area, which is nice. It's similar to where we sat last time, but just on the other side. I mean, that was quick. And there's food delivered. That looks really good, yours. What's on getting, getting food envy on yours? The burger does look very nice, though. I must admit. Did you enjoy your dinner? I did. It was lovely. Yeah, it was good. Really enjoyed it. We came to about twenty-eight pounds all in, which included the two pints a bit. And the burger was huge and very, very filling. <laughs> so we are now going to go over to the other side of the zoo because we haven't been to Islands for quite some time. We're in Islands. And we have squirrels. Welcome to Panay Conservation Park. Where's the chicken? And a bicycle. And chicks. And no warty pigs in this bit of the enclosure. Well, this is a big enclosure. We found some. What is that? Wow. We got six pigs. Five there. And one hidden down here as well. What a life, eh? <laughs> Relaxing in the sunshine. Ooh, both well, of the cassowaries are showing an enclosure today. Which is not something you see very often. That's all man said last time, didn't he? We don't often let them out together. So we've heard a rumour. It's actually more than a rumour now, but we've had multiple of our viewers mention we had a rumor something <laughs> special has arrived at Chester Zoo. And we've also just had a tweet from WDW2 that confirmed there's something special. So let's go and see if we can find out what it is. That's right, it's this new bush. <laughs> so we're at the Manado Street Kitchen. and. What's this? The Monado District Office now sells Dole Whip and Dole Whip floats. Oh yeah! Tim is in there like little clappers. Straight in. Look at that. Ah, Dole Whip! And in a Chester Zoo branded cup, which is amazing. And it's also cheaper than Disney World. And apparently, Potentially one of the one of if not the first place in the UK that's serving it. I don't know if it's 
know, but she was saying it. It's just like Walt Disney World, it's perfect. Yeah, because I don't like it. Also, wooden spoon, paper straw, reusable cup. So we'll be keeping those cups because they're really nice. So can I get an official opinion on Chester Zoo's doll flop? Exactly the same as Disney World's doll It was absolutely lovely, wasn't it? And we're going to keep these cups. Look at them. They're really nice. I'm happy with that. Yeah. It's like a little bit of a uh, holiday reminder while we're in the zoo. A little bit of Disney in the zoo. Yeah, 45 minutes down the road from us. <laughs> Leaving islands and the passing elephant monorail. We're going to go and check out the dogs and probably the rhinos and I think we'll call it that point, won't we? Yeah. It's quite busy in the zoo today, so we'll... Uh, we only came for Dolbert. Yeah, we only came for Dolbert. <laughs> And we've had that, so we can go. Oh, we could go back and have another Dolbert. Yeah. I think I've got a Dolbert now. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll uh, go and see what we can see at this end of the zoo. We haven't, we haven't seen the dogs for a couple of weeks. Nobody in the bird, uh, bird hide can see anything because the ducks are on the roof. <laughs> Looking at us. Some gravy zebra. Look at that, on a busy day, we found a spot where there's no people. Do we think the adverts will be asleep? <laughs> yeah. Oh look, they're in the corner, <laughs> snuggled up together. No, it's the tail. I think we're going to get lucky on dogs today. They're asleep in the dens. Quick pop in to say hello to the rhinos as we leave. Well, since she wasn't playing, we'll come out here and have a look at these guys. Tell the weather's picking up when they're out and about. What a size of them are. Mm. Well, until next time, giant shark. With many teeth. He says, be back soon and make it snap. I thought that was an alligator sandwich and make it snappy. I'm sure that's after the snappy tip. Okay. <laughs>